Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Mara. Today I will be watching It's Always Sun in Philadelphia Season 3 Episode 4. So let's get into it. No. For real? She had a botched neck lift. She's as dead as disco. For real? She's actually dead. Got it. Listen, would now be a good time to say a few words about my wonderfully warm and caring mother? No, just you know, get to the <laughs> reading part. Frank, I have something here that I need to read to you from Barbara. If something mean? If your monkey heart is still beating, uh, then congratulations. I want you to know that I hereby leave all of your money to Bruce Mathis, the real father of my children. What? Oh. It's a man with a beautiful soul <laughs> and a nicer penis. You're giving all my money to that jerk off. You know, Why are you giving it to him? I'm not she barely even knew him. I'm not giving any money to anybody, you see. I'm just reading what's on a will. Where is that rat bastard? Sir, I don't know. Because I want to smash his face. My darling son Dennis. Okay. I give you my house. That's great. That's great. On the sole condition that Frank not be allowed in. I would never let him in. Deandra, you get nothing. You were a disappointment and a mistake. A mistake? No. Which wins? Bitch, it doesn't make sense. Okay. I'm reading the words that someone else wrote. I don't know your mom. Never met your mom. I'm certainly not speaking to your mom now. Oh my god. You know, oh my god. Does it say anything about jewelry? It does say something about the jewelry in here in that um she wants to be buried in it. God damn it! Dennis is the only one that got something good. What? I'm gonna dig up her body in the middle of the night and snatch back that jewelry. Oh my god. Okay. Call Brucey on the phone and tell okay. him you want to introduce him to your new fiance. Which is me. <laughs> like for real. Here, we need to throw a big ass party <laughs> because I need to be amongst my friends. Let's call the crew. Uh, how about uh, let's call Stash? Let's get the Stash man. Okay, what's up with him then? I set him on fire. Son of a bitch. All right, forget him. All right, let's get Z-Man. I banged his sister. Oh. oh my god. Oh, he's got a restraining order against me. I can't go within 500 feet of him. Plus, you know, oh I'm my god. Really <laughs> yeah. oh, oh my god. Oh my god. When he gets here, I want you to hold my hand through the whole thing. <laughs> Thinking of me as your fiance, Seamus. <laughs> Gross. Could we please try and think of a less creepy angle? But this is a grift. I mean, that's the way it is. You got to stay in character. But how does that help if you are her fiance? <laughs> I am also broken up. <laughs> Let's say we all bring him home for a hug. Oh my God. We're doing hugs. <laughs> oh no! Not the kiss. In Uganda, doing a lot of work with the AIDS crisis there. And AIDS? You touch anybody? <laughs> what? Sure. Hey, man! What kind oh of my shit god! That? You just hugged me! <laughs> Why would you do that? I'm not joking. That shit is serious. I gotta take a shower now. <laughs> it's funny that I seem like that because I'm not holding up okay. I'm very sad. Well, I'm devastated. Tougher than... Oh, see, Seamus and I have a plan. We want about to what? Adopt a ton of kids. Oh my god, for real? We'll need to use our fortune that my mother Oh gave my you god, for real. Kids. Okay. Does he have some kids in the car that is going to gift them? Is he going? Yeah, he's oh gone. Oh my god, no. Burn these clothes. <laughs> no. <laughs> what? How, what? 
guys who want to hang out in our party mansion. Is that like back in the days Tinder? I'm just looking to meet some some new guys. I saw you from across the way and I thought, yeah, this guy's got a good sense of style. Oh my god. Let's take a look at that flyer there. Is this a penis? <laughs> I think he took that at oh he threw that away. Oh, you should have seen how passionate he got when I showed him the dick flyer. You, you knew? knew that it was a dick? Well yeah, he thought it was a bicep. <laughs> he thought you guys were changing it. He was always it was always meant to be a bicep. <laughs> what if I had you? That's a really long arm. It's like I think Bruce has another plan for you people. I'm sure you went to get some kids. Yes, yes it's so. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> they brought suitcases. It's just you and us. And we got the party mansion. And there ain't no rules in the party mansion. That's Check right. this out, bitches. <laughs> Oh my god, did he come? No, it's not hilarious. I share this little girl's pain. You think of this little girl as your soulmate of pain. <laughs> what? <laughs> He's so deep. And I think for me to help you, I need to observe you at your most intimate. I, I need to observe you two making love. His mom just died. Can you have a little compassion? My mom just died, all right? The least you could do is let us throw your buddy off the roof. Oh, my God. <laughs> Don't fight it. <laughs> it's all part of the healing process. <laughs> <laughs> what? Tell me, how do you two usually begin your lovemaking session? Oh my god, for real? Perhaps you should start by uh, kissing her neck lightly. Uh, no. <laughs> we don't kiss. We don't kiss at all. Mm -mm. No kissing. It's a... <laughs> what? I gotta come clean here because we've been lying to you. Deandra, Deandra, just no. think about what you're doing. No, you know what? I'm think sorry. What we've been lying. The reason is. <laughs> We haven't had sex yet because we're waiting until we get married. Oh, nice save. Nice save. <laughs> I'm also a licensed minister, so why don't we just do a, a wedding? Like, do it tomorrow. Uh, like, for real? I know. Okay. Oh my god. There we go. Oh, oh my god. Family and friends. <laughs> and the guys are there. Nobody's seeing that. Call the cops. They just kidnapped two people. Be your lawfully wedded husband. Oh my god. Oh my god. You take this woman to be your wedded wife. Who will give up? I wonder who will give up. Is that the father or D and Frank? Man and wife. Congratulations, Deandra! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you just married your daughter, Frank. He knew. Of course, I know who you are. He the knew. Last children and turn them into animals if you know oh my god was, next to the there. Ceremony. i was just trying to push you two to your limit but apparently you you have none so sorry uh, uh bruce can, can you can you just uh, pronounce the man and wife oh my god do you get the message oh, what he's saying he will break it take this and give it to the lawyer and you're going to lose the house because uh, you violated the conditions of the will. Frank was not to set foot in the Oh house. my god, he knew about the will? But that's your children. Oh guys, guys, hey, where are you going? At least we still have her nest. Yeah, whoops, no, no, he robbed your house. For real? <laughs> we could still go get mom's jewelry. I'll get the shovel. Okay, guys, this was 
fun. I am still surprised that uh, Bruce knew about the will. Yeah, maybe uh, the lawyer called him and read that for him. But that's so sad though. But why would the lawyer tell him the part where it's not his business? Because he wasn't married to him anyways. So why would he tell him? I don't know. I've never gotten anything. And I know when my parents pass, I will not get anything. We Like this generation, we are working to leave something to our children. Some, you know, never mind. But yeah. Uh, I've never been in that situation before. That is what I wanted to say without being too specific. Uh, but I don't know. Don't you read, like, don't you get everyone together and read stuff that concerns them? Do you read everybody's business for everyone? Like, uh, I don't know if you understand my question. If I'm not present that day, are you supposed to read my part? if that makes sense um so yeah that, that was interesting like you know the AIDS joke I know back in the days what 2005 is not that which it's a long time but um you know people were joking about stuff so I won't get mad about that even though I'm not okay with it but it is what it is back in the days um and <laughs> The fact that the father, Bruce, uh, was doing his own thing, knowing that they are lying to him, that was really funny too. Uh, I don't know if he would be more involved. And that is so sad that they killed off the mom. Like, why? She couldn't be in the show anymore or what went on behind the scene because she, she was fun to be. I liked her. I liked her relationship with Deandra, although it was toxic, but I, I liked her. Um, that's sad. That's really sad. But yeah, if you know something, if you know what happened behind the scene, if it was something that she couldn't be in there, if you hear some coughing, my daughter is sick, so she's... Uh, she, like... Mm, she coughs really, really, really loud for some reason. Uh, so, yeah. um, Yeah, <laughs> I lost track of what I was saying. But, yeah, it was fun. A fun episode as always. So, yeah, I'm going to stop here. I have a lot more to record today be before my husband gets home because he is the loudest of us of all of us here at home so i'm trying to get in one more thing or two more stuff if i can uh, before it gets here so i'm gonna stop here uh yeah thank you for being here and i'll see you guys in the next vacation bye